Warning, Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> no, see, but he's not a hide, though. So, according to the, uh, the book, you now have one extra die to dexterity and stamina for the next 45 minutes. And then minus three to all dice pools after that. <laughs> Yay. Unless you keep getting high. Yeah. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Damn, that fucking sucks. Yeah. I said one that Cocaine's not a great drug. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know. I like at least... With so I just want to point out that your Roomba mate is rotting in hell. <laughs> literally. Living in eternity <laughs> of damnation and torment with every passing millisecond. And you're going to fucking Zumba. <laughs> I, might, I might find someone there who's like, like, I don't feel like doing Zumba anymore, man. <laughs> That's the sign of suicide. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the I hope the Zumba classes will be your demise. It's <laughs> really active. Stay Roll under ten percent to see if you have a heart attack and die while on coke. Yay! Ah, damn it. 69. 69. Is what you spent your time doing instead of Zumba. <laughs> Alright, back to the detective and his psychic. So. No. Oh. Alright, so. Dead body. Do the thing. Look at space. <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey man, bunks are weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that probably means I brought my my violin. <laughs> He's like, okay. Very well, but you should probably talk to Rios then. Okay. I guess I'll go talk to Rios. Okay. Here, give her some some of this. It helps. <laughs> <laughs> like I hand it to you and you just drop. <laughs> what is this? this is some dense ass coffee. <laughs> just black matter coffee. <laughs> just viscous. Coffee grounds and water. <laughs> it's like coffee grounds like syrup. <laughs> he compresses it to fit more in. <laughs> more coffee. Do you need the book, Tom? Oh, you want? Me, oh, you gonna have me roll first? Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, so you're gonna roll your faith, and you're gonna try to beat your torment on diff six. No, it's rolling your torment difficulty. You remember, because or else we would never beat your we, our torment, because starting off our torment is so high. Your torment's like three or four, depending on your. Health. Yeah, and our faith is. Fair enough. Okay, so the torment is the difficulty. I'll reread it. Go ahead. Okay. So, difficulty equals torment. Two successes. Okay. So, do you by any chance remember, like, how far back that lets you see? Oh, shit. No, I don't. I've got the, I've got the lures right here. But, okay, we'll, we'll go with this. So, you lay hands on him, and all of a sudden, you're... Your vision just kind of goes dark, and you come to, in this apartment, sitting on the sofa, it's maybe two or three in the morning, and you're sitting there, you've got a Xbox 360 controller in your hands, because you're a college kid and you don't have any money. <laughs> I remember when I played Halo 3 with this. And you're just sort of sitting there and you look over. Next to you is this similarly aged college student. Maybe about 18, 19 years old. Nothing particularly out of the ordinary. Um, Except I was alone a minute ago. <laughs> You know, he's dressed fairly typically, jeans and a t-shirt. He's got his backpack next to him. And he just kind of turns on you and affixes you with this gaze. And He says something, but you can't quite make it out. Just kind of 
reverberates. And all of a sudden, from his... He whips out this giant knife from his backpack and stabs you. It, things sort of fade in and out for a little while. And you see yourself just on the on the coffee table. You're, you're too weak to move. You, you try to twitch a finger, and this is about barely all you can do as your blood is rushing out. And the whole time, he's just trying to barely keep you alive. Like, as you fade away, he'll give you CPR or something. And, and all the while, he's sitting there trying to scratch. And then all of a sudden, uh, there's the sound of sirens off in the distance, and the guy panics and runs out the door. And that's when, a little while after, you just kind of fade and then you snap back and you were in the you were from the perspective of the show to once more uh, so an associate of of the victim who has medical practice is a student either going to community college or UTEP so he has is, is a medical student All right, I'll, I'll walk out and and approach. I guess. Well, you're going. Out, you're going to talk to Alyssa Rios, right? And so she is just hands over this this concrete railing that fences off this tree that she has just spent her breakfast upon, and she is just catching her breath. What a waste of good menu, though. <laughs> and she tries to steady herself. <laughs> I'll just go over here and tap her on the shoulder and be like... And she she, she she jumps like 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 you shocked her or something. And as she she realizes it's you, she sort of steadies herself. I'm going to say, are you all right? You seem to be a little out of it. Things are... Things are different now. Uh... How different? That, 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 that friend of yours, the one you're always hanging out with. <laughs> the one who just walked in. <laughs> Friend's a very strong word to go on. There's a... You might want to keep your distance. Oh, I can't do that. He's you part of your hey, bond. You see, we share a bond. <laughs> James Bond. Powder. You could almost say we're like family. <laughs> He's a Slayer. Seventh. Sixth cousin? We have the same dad. Okay, now yeah, so he's like a half brother. <laughs> <laughs> that how it works if there's only one parent. <laughs> yeah. Our family's strange. <laughs> Yeah, what? Did something happen? Did he do something weird? <laughs> Did he touch you? We weirdest, uh, weirdest thing I've ever seen. I'm not saying something from a couple years on the force. What did he show you? Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Eh. Rios, I've been doing this a very long time. I know I don't look it. I've been doing this a while. At this point, does she ask him, wait, how did you get your position again? <laughs> As a detective? Yeah. No. I remember because I wasn't particularly good at my job until, I think, it was like a year, and then just boom, detective. It's almost like you knew the guy in charge. Yay, nepotism. The best kind. <laughs> All right. Nepotism is actually the name of the demon. <laughs> <laughs> I right, Ochoa, listen. Do you remember? You remember when we found his fingerprints at a crime scene, and and he was, I do. He was the number one suspect for a while. Yeah. And I thought I cleared that up, but yes. <laughs> well, we did. Oh. Okay. He kind of proved to me how it wasn't him, and. Had a very good reason for being there. Uh, it was the gloves, right? What? It was the gloves, right? That's that's what, that's the evidence. 
I don't know if you're making a joke or you're like... Is, is no, this... remember because the fucking... Yeah, I don't know if it's that or if you're just trying to like riff off of OJ somehow. Like. <laughs> <laughs> if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> no, I'm not going to riff on OJ. I'm not old enough to care about that. <laughs> Bobbits, you offended him. He was idle. <laughs> Bobby but but what juice. exactly did he show you? The juice. <sighs> Things I can't unsee. And at the time I thought seeing these things would be helpful. I thought I'd be able to help other people by seeing these things, but I I can't handle it. it, it it's you know, I've spent so many years trying to piece things together in my head, trying to imagine the way it looked, trying to... Just wishing. Just wishing that there was this magic little recording that I could watch that would put everything into perspective, but... Actually seeing it isn't the same. I'll just squint and look back in the shoulder. Oh, have I approached at this point? <laughs> yeah, if you want. Oh. You feel the, the lightness of the coffee thermos leaving your hand? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that probably would have just like thank you, without even saying thank you. Actually, thanks for holding it. <laughs> I'll just look. You showed it, and just whisper in here. What did you show her? Um, <laughs> I got a peg. Respect <laughs> <laughs> the boundaries between life and death. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can say I showed her my robes. Oh no. I'll just be like, <sighs> Rios, uh, why don't you uh, take the day off? Oh. Yo. <laughs> I don't know if I have she, this She's sort of like, you, you see her take a step back, uh, but at the same time, she's almost like, like drawn to him. There's a look in her eyes like, this is what I've been waiting for. Uh, I'll hand her the thermos. Hey, you can <laughs> drink some coffee. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just it's not not <laughs> not at all. And she becomes fucking what's your face from Cut of a Shoujo. <laughs> oh, that's an old reference. <laughs> Anyways, uh just sit sit this one out. Uh we'll deal with it. Uh I do want you to come by my house later tonight. We have things to discuss. She completely ignores you for a second as she walks towards Nishota. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and cap her in the back of the Pull a Corvus. <laughs> Is this the arrest? <laughs> blap, blap. Ooh, you're feeling better now. Same. <laughs> blap, blap throws cocaine on her. <laughs> I need to talk to you. No, I, I, need, I need to talk to you. I haven't said no yet. <laughs> she, she sort of looks around. I, I assume you don't want this set in front of everybody. <laughs> well, how many people are around? I assume we're kind of like off to the side. Eh, kind of. There's still people milling about and the old, the old people. Oh, such a shame. That kid. I didn't know anything about him, but he died and I feel bad. And, uh, you know, all that stuff. And there's probably like news media trying to get a point and stuff. So there's, there's I, kind of chaos. And showed up. Did you take this woman's innocence? You're gonna have to take responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are weird. <laughs> uh, we haven't even Is heard. that not what he did? <laughs> I mean, arguably, no. She's a crime scene investigator. She's uh, inured herself to murder, at least by mortal standards. Exactly. We haven't even gotten to the part how we previously no, almost turned your game into a game <laughs> simulator. That doesn't mean we're gonna stop though. <laughs> but we'll leave that but for see, another time. Like it was so all the crime scene investigating she was doing was just kinda like butt stuff. Cut. And then so what he did <laughs> was the real thing. And how she, do you sexualize <laughs> this? Like, like that. that. <laughs> Oh, so uh, it's called poetry chess. <laughs> yeah, Shakespearean at its best. I don't. I don't understand how. Where do you upgrade from butt stuff? Uh, really? 
<laughs> like starting with butt stuff and going to the real deal. Yeah, because like, like, cause like in the butt people still think they're virgins. Yeah, it's like it's like Mormon, Mormons that? and people like that. Subscribe to Calf <laughs> <laughs> I don't Also, if you're a Mormon and watching our videos, I'm sorry. Okay, Although first of all, if you're a Mormon and watching our videos, what the hell? <laughs> okay, which video are you watching? I'm sorry. Well, I mean, they're especially watching this episode because they see the devil in it. Yeah. Don't be six 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 blast across the front. I'm sure. All those kids who want to break apart. <laughs> but yeah. <coughs> Back to the game. <laughs> Can we please? <laughs> Seth, what'd you do? I proved that I wasn't the murderer. And how did you do that? By showing her why I would be at the murder scene that you guys tend to take me to. Rios, what did you say? <laughs> so, he's yeah. in on it too, he knows about you, he knows what you are? Well, apparently I didn't know enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're the one who said we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we're not friends doesn't mean we don't have another kind of relationship. <laughs> we're business partners and associates and we're part of the same Roomba. <laughs> Like, he's part of my Roomba. Are we friends? Not anymore. <laughs> I'm not into your guys' butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you make all the butt plugs! I just make them. <laughs> I don't know what and people test do them with for them. quality <laughs> assurance. <laughs> Nobody asked for them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yes. Um. Oh, hmm. what's, your, what's your character's first name? Armando. Armando. <laughs> Al is privy to the information about me. Is that a problem? I, I, I don't care. I need you to undo what you did to me. I can't live like this. I can't... Mm. I can't constantly see death wherever I go. You want to give her a different pact? Can you undo a pact? Yeah. Uh, I think, well, I don't know. Yeah, you can totally undo a pick. And it's even better if it's consensual. Otherwise you have to just like, rip it. <laughs> I still can't tell if you're making any endo. <laughs> no, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta like, whatever essence you imparted on something, you just kind of fucking rip it from them. You gotta rip out the demon juice. Yeah. Uh, Come but on. I'm pretty sure you can just give her something else. I mean, I'm assuming you want to keep the pact. Prolapse that pact. <laughs> what? Would you prefer something else? I, I... I don't know. I don't know, I just... Ever since... Ever since we had that talk at the station, it's, everything's been different, and I, I... I can't survive going the same way. Perhaps you should need to learn how to control it a little better. <laughs> I don't even want it anymore. Just yeah, Seth, what'd you give her? I don't even want to do this job anymore. I don't care if I'm flipping burgers. I just I need to get away from this. I thought maybe if I took a couple days, got my head straight, it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> you can give her spirit. So she can talk to the dead instead. Or. What's the other one? Realms? I also have Forge. Oh yeah. <laughs> she can make things. Or you can give her realms. It's like you want to go to the other side? <gasps> <laughs> I mean, you could just swap it out for freebie points. Oh yeah. I could do that. I'm <laughs> fine. You don't want my power. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well. Would you like to improve yourself? Like, you get more points and die? <laughs> um... Get it, she'll just say that getting rid of this would be improving myself. So I guess... Well, well you get more dots. <laughs> I guess my, my understanding of it is you yourself can decide how to... Uh, Impart your power. All right. So you can improve whatever you want on her. Hmm. I give her all dots in a cult. <laughs> they could give it to her in investigation. Make it so I she, mean, she, yeah, she probably does just have fucking, like, Dotson and a cult out of, out of the budget from talking to you. 
I only have one dot. Well, I mean, she was atheist. Now she knows that angels exist. She's seen people die. Well, I mean, a lot, a lot of people have seen people die. Or you could just, uh, you could give her dots in, uh... Appearance? No, no, no. I was... The money one. Well, I don't know resources. how many dots she has. Resources? Yeah, give her yeah. dots and resources just so she can get out of this job entirely and just... Or okay. give her dots and mentor. <laughs> I don't have mentor. You're the no, mentor. No, yeah, no, yeah, you're the mentor. <laughs> I don't know what level you constitute yourself as. I'm a level... I, I'm a three dot eminence demon. Yeah, but like, how do you act? Not very well. <laughs> I, I do my fucking job. There you go. You can give her some, uh... Give her some courage rolls so she doesn't be a little bitch. <laughs> you could give her courage. Yeah. And then she thinks she can have the power. You're like, no, you made your choice. <laughs> <laughs> or she could give you more faith and you can give her both. Um, How many dots does she get? I forget. I believe it's five. For it's five freebie points? Or, yeah. I, know, I think it's... It's ten because I was able to up one of my thralls 42 by two. Stamina by two. I was like, damn, he got 42 out of you somehow? I think, I'm pretty sure it's five for a pact. Well, we, we can look it up later. I, you might have made multiple packs with him or something, but, uh... Yeah. Or a pact for multiple faith, but I, I believe uh, a standard pact is five freebie points. Let's find out later. In the meantime. So then... <laughs> Three resources... Is it like, are they like, the freebie points same costs, or is it just like? Yeah, it's, they're they're regular freebie points. Okay, so backgrounds is the best way to go for that. Then I give her eminence. <laughs> <laughs> so she too can tune out with Volus. <laughs> no. Uh, three dots and resources is pretty good, right? Yeah, that's uh that'll that's, that's... allow her to maintain a comfortable lifestyle. That's more resources than I have. That's like, here, take the money, I don't fucking want it. <laughs> so, um, I don't know how currency works. <laughs> <laughs> how much, how much is eight zeros of money? I don't... <laughs> it's like, how, how much is that in coffee? Uh, three dots in resources and two dots in mentor. Are, are you really going to be your mentor? I mean... Really, you can just shove mentor on her and it could be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it should not be Adam. No, he's trying to do coke. Like he's your mentor. Fucking deal with him. I, wait, what is it? Honestly, I think I would be the best mentor. I'm all right. <laughs> you say showing up with the heroin needle still in your arm. <laughs> you went before the infernal court eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one time I failed the role. What a time it was. <laughs> What are you doing, Shoda? I told you. So okay, so two dots and mentor. What are you? What are you actually going to teach her? Uh, about the, at least the demonic, side of the supernatural world. S yeah, so look, know like what that. to look out for. We made everything, okay. and then you guys ruined it. But it's okay because we still love you. You could be prepping her to take the power back. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, you're, the mentor dots are easy. How do you actually... What, how do you use your powers to bend reality? That is what I was trying to figure out, considering how I don't even have money. I know, maybe she had an aunt and just... <laughs> and then her... <laughs> it's funny! <laughs> All of a sudden, inheritance. <laughs> she, she gets a call, it's like, Oh man, my great aunt just died. But I got a full ton of money. <laughs> and then you're like, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. That is the best way that could go. So as you, as you, but you also like, inherited all thirty-five of her cats. <laughs> <laughs> so as you, don't worry, I can take care of those too. <laughs> as, as, or as you, I guess, agree upon the pact. She just, thank you, thank you, and she just sort of bursts into tears, grasps your shirt, and just sobs into your shirt for a while. Should have given mm. her courage. And then she gets a call from the hospital. So <laughs> 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 what are I'll, you? Gonna... I'll be patting her head. Not really knowing why she's crying, or understanding. Because she couldn't live with the... No, my I character mean, doesn't no. understand. He's, he's, he's like somewhere on the spectrum. So yeah, what, <laughs> what, what are you going to do? I get it. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm just going to be like, okay, can we do the investigation now? <laughs> That's up to you. You're the detective. He's just the psychic. 
Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, right. Um, I'm here for a reason. <laughs> another student, age 18 or 19. Associate of the victim and has basic medical understanding. What they look like? Uh, let's say scrawny. Um, sort of that weird, that douchey sort of like parted hair kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about? That super short, normal shape, a little bit in the back. Uh, pinched, <laughs> mousy features. Male. Oh my god, it's Matt. No, I don't. No, it's the haircut isn't right. You need to grow longer. Like a fucking. Uh, she wore those little Lucas things. <laughs> you remember them, Bob? Uh oh. Lick the hair. That was weird. All right, so medical student. Is there an easy way to get access to something like that? Without just going to a school and be like, I'm looking for med students. Actually, I could do that. I'd probably sleep. Well, I mean, you can get a warrant Ugh. to get the records for all admitted students around that age in the medical field. In order to get the warrant, he would have to prove some kind of connection to a med student. He would also need to get signed by a judge, so bureaucracy, bureaucracy. The judge thing is easy. Well, yeah, you have connections with the local judge, but, uh... Yay. I got two contacts and two influence. So it should be easy. But, yeah. As far as... Or you can just walk into, you know, a place and wave your gun. That's your warrant. <laughs> this is... Yeah, this is Texas. My warrant is where I put my fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have it. You have warrant etched onto the fucking... <laughs> <As my word. laughs> Alright, so... Oh, that would take fucking forever. Is there a faster way to do this? I mean, there would be a faster way if we had somebody to bend time. And uh, see the future? And... <laughs> uh, do I have anything that can help me? No, I could only, I could only save lives. <laughs> Damn, and I can only end them. <laughs> These hands can only destroy. Well, shit. I guess I'm gonna have to go through the bureaucracy way until something better comes along. The celestial. No, not them. Um. Give me a perception investigation, please. That I can do. I can do that very well. Allegedly. I got four successes. All right. So with four successes, I will give you four clues. Uh, so as you look around the apartment, there's a bunch of books missing from his shelf. It seems to be the only thing taken or disturbed from the apartment. That's, not... like, that's like five grand worth of books. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is, however, one book that seems to have been perhaps missed. Like, it goes here, but it just kind of slumped down in the back. And it is a book of Anakian script. <gasps> uh, How did I miss this? He has the the first card in his wallet is an EPCC student ID, and he has a Whataburger uniform in the bedroom. Were they roommates? Uh, no, it looks like he lived alone. Okay, so the guy got murdered had a Whataburger uniform. Okay, and you have one success left, so I'll let you ask me anything you want. Who's the murderer? Oh, where's Ilib Isabella Chan? <laughs> I mean, it's 8 in the morning. She's a vampire. She's asleep. All right. That means we can start making her breakfast right now. <laughs> I think she needs people for breakfast. Um, yeah. One more, one more, one more. Any trace of the... 
suspect in how he escaped? Well, I mean, he just kind of left out the front door, right? Yeah. Oh. Are there fingerprints? Are there fingerprints? Because he probably would have had to turn the door now. Unless it was a... No, you would have to open the door. Unless you just kick down the door. And there'd be a footprint. I jumped out the door. Uh... Now that's a little too easy. We'll say there's. We'll say he knew enough to wear gloves. No, you know. Did he take off the gloves? Mm, you didn't find any gloves or the murder weapon. Anyway. Would the gloves even fit on his hand? <laughs> that one was an O.J. Simpson reference. Yeah. <laughs> so more gloves. What wouldn't, what wouldn't he do? Did anyone see a vehicle leave at this around the same time? Did they? Yes, there was a witness that saw him like jump into the shitty little van and drive off. If they were playing Xbox together. Did he happen to sign in his tag as a guest? What's his Xbox Live gamer tag? Uh, you know what? Good thinking, and just to reward that, um, get another dot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, there was a gamer tag Poon Badger sixty four signed in as a guest. Does it have XX at the beginning and end? Oh, of course, that makes it cool. Okay, good. XX. As to the Whataburger uniform, for our viewers who aren't in Texas, Whataburger is like in and out, but better. In every way, it's pretty good. <laughs> God damn, I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> you awesome. could have had a fucking yes. cinnamon roll. So I want food. <laughs> This, this very nature demon sort of leads you through just darkness for you you can't even tell time time is not a thing down here it bends and warps and stretches so you might have been following him for minutes or hours or even days until finally the darkness pulls back around you and you find yourself in what appears to be the foot of a very large mountain that rises up from the floor of the abyss with just these strange sort of serpentine thin protrusions like horns or spikes or something coming from this large mass and all around you are you can see in the darkness just faces different demonic faces all all different some entirely face less like like josh's apocalyptic form and they just seem to be watching but not necessarily aggressive they don't look like they're going to pounce or anything. They're just watching. They look like they're hanging out. They look like they're waiting. And then all of a sudden, all the attention turns to one face. As it, as you can see, the body just kind of seize up, and it disappears. Fun. What do you do? My buddy demon of green is no longer here. No, he's there. All right, cool. How shall we proceed? As you say this. What you had once perceived to be a mountain begins to move. And it rises up, and you can see... That's 10 free points. What? Is it? Okay, well then, <laughs> she's got 10 free points. I guess I was fucking wrong. You can see the silhouette of this, this deeper black in the darkness of arms moving, of wings unfurling, of this great horned head rising up from the chest, and these eyes open, these two royal blue piercing beams of light in the darkness and they look down on you do i recognize them no because well you don't have any legacy so probably not okay. and in a voice that seems to tremor the the floor beneath your feet it calls out you are the one lin Volus. yes yes that is me <laughs> i don't wear it out. <laughs> I greet you, Lin Wallace. I am called Geth Zariel. Know ye anything of me? I do not. But I have been told that you may be the way out of this abyss. Yes. So many of our kind have forgotten. Forgotten too easily, perhaps. I admit my own memory goes, but there is one thing I remember clearly. Tell me, Lin Wallace, you have just recently returned to the Abyss, have you not? Yes. I was 
willingly put here. <laughs> By whom? What is his By name? yourself. <laughs> it was your choice. I believe my transgressions put me here. Also some guy named Ezekiel Ramos. That is... Ramos? Rams. Rams. Yeah, the hunter put you here. Ezekiel Ramos. Rams. After you went peacefully. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me, Linvalis, why do you still linger here amongst the darkness and the damp? Have you no allies on the other side that would have rescued you? I do, but they waste their time toiling over illicit substances. <laughs> you hear you Zumba, Zumba music in the background? <laughs> Is that what? It's been torturing him here this whole, in hell this whole time? The occasional Zumba music? Alright, now follow me. Kick it, budget. Kick it. No, no, see, he's on cocaine, so it's night court. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Sped up. I too know what it is to be abandoned, Linvalis. When I fought in the war against our creator, I risked life and limb for those I love, not just the humans, but for the angels beneath me who would willingly give their lives for the cause, and I defended them as best I could. And when I could not, when one of their lives was snuffed short, I wept right alongside those who knew them, even if I had not. I, too, (laughs) know the abandonment. I know the abandonment of my God when he decided that my love for the humans was not in his plan. I know the abandonment of our leader, Lucifer, when he has been gone so very many years from us, forgetting us as we rot in this prison. Yes, I feel the dark pit of my heart. And I know the abandonment of those who I once thought my allies. When this prison rent asunder many years ago, I called to them. I begged them to not forget me, to release me as I had fought and given my lives, or would have given my life for them back in the day. And forget they do, going about their politicking, their own agendas on earth, while I am left here to languish. Such a sad disposition. Does this sound familiar to you, Linvalis? Do you as well know my pain, know my abandonment? I know your pain, but I know that I have friends up above somewhere. (laughs) Do you, Linvalis? Then why do you linger here still? He might just be high. (laughs) (laughs) Why have they let you come here in the first place? And what happens if it aligns with their goals to allow you to come back once more? Usually I step out of line and... (laughs) They rein me in a little bit. <laughs> what has become of you, Linvalis? There was a time once long ago when you stood against your creator for what you thought was right. And now you whimper and make excuses for those who betrayed you as though you were a whipped dog. The souls of children are something worth <laughs> something to other people. <laughs> Not myself, but... <laughs> Did you just shoot down, did our Daniel just shoot down a friend as a strong word? (laughs) (laughs) Did you? Probably. (laughs) Chimed in for that, like, friends are a really strong word. (laughs) Chime back up. (laughs) Our Daniel out. (laughs) Fuck that guy, he's a square. (laughs) But yes, I do know there are friends up there, and... While I am abandoned and left here for now, I will return one day, I'm sure of it. And how long are you willing to wait? When every second on earth peels by as millennia to us, how long will you sit here in darkness? I offer you a chance. Join with me. How many seconds are 
<laughs> Look around you. 85 million. Yes. Behold your brothers who also languish here, forgotten, wronged, killed, perhaps even by another demon. I, I shudder to think of those who are unlucky enough to return, who are simply devoured. Ha, poor guys. Join with us, Lindvalis, and I will see to it that you and those who suffer as you do will not languish in this prison over long. In fact, join with me and I will ensure that you breathe Earth's air tonight.